Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Marky, and today I wanted to show you some miscellaneous things to do in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Mainly I wanted to make a video on what to do with the toy axe and shotgun in the attic, but I thought I would add a few extra things that kind of pertain to this. So anyways, let's play. First off, I want to show you where the first treasure photo is. The first one is located in the main house in the processing area. Once you've gone all the way around and now are in a large area or large room, the same room as the scorpion key, the treasure photo is in the back corner of the large room sitting on a shelf. Once you pick it up, you will see it is showing the location of the fireplace. Head back over to the fireplace in the drawing room. You will need to interact with the large or larger stone on the fireplace. It acts as a switch and once you push it in, it will pop out and reveal a steroid shot. Collect it and then go into your inventory and use it on yourself. It dramatically strengthens muscles and increases max health for the rest of the game. Let me note, with the treasure photos, you have to collect the photo before the game will allow you to collect the treasure. So for example, if you go to that stone on the fireplace before you found that treasure photo in the processing area, it won't let you interact with the stone. Moving on, you will want to collect the broken shotgun from grandma's room. You'll need the scorpion key to get in this room. The shotgun is located in the windowsill next to the vanity. Once you collect it, make sure you have enough room in your inventory for two slots. Then go into the main hall and in the room with the statue holding the gun, pick up the gun and the door behind you will close. Place the broken shotgun on the statue so you can now leave the room with the working shotgun. I like to collect this before I fight the first boss battle. Once you have access to go outside the main house, stand in between the two stairs leading up to the porch of the main house and go forward towards the house. You will see some metal sheeting on the side of the house. Interact with it to pull it back and go underneath the house. Smash the crate and pick up the repair kit. Next, go into the trailer in the yard and look on the bed. There's a broken handgun. Just pick that up and we can fix that later or you can use that repair kit to fix that handgun now or you can go fix the broken shotgun. While in the trailer, use your antique coins you have collected. If you need help collecting the coins, I have a video on where all of them are located and I can link that down below. Inside the first cage is another steroid shot. Use it like you did the last one to increase your max health for the rest of the game. In the second cage, there's a stabilizer that will increase your reloading speed for the rest of the game. And the last cage is a more powerful handgun than your current one. At this point, once I have gone through all of the trailer for the first time, I go back inside the main house and I pick up the broken shotgun that the statue is holding. I replace the broken shotgun with the shotgun I currently have. Then I use the repair kit to fix that shotgun. You just need to go into your inventory and select the repair kit and then select the broken shotgun to combine them. So moving on, the next or the second treasure photo in the game is located over by the greenhouse. Once you go through the hole to follow Marguerite, not Margaret, and climb the ladder and emerge out by the greenhouse towards the vine covered stairs and the treasure photo is hanging on the side of it as if you were climbing up the stairs. So just collect that and the treasure photo is showing a picture of the toilet inside the trailer in the yard. Inside that toilet is magnum ammo. I'm pretty sure that you use the handgun that's located in the cage. I think that one takes magnum ammo. For this next section, you will need at least six empty slots in your inventory and the snake key. Once you've acquired the snake key, go into the kids room on the second floor. Find the lamp sitting on a desk, tilt it up and push the red button under the lampshade. This will drop down the ladder to go into the attic. Once you climb into the attic, turn around and by the Christmas tree to the left, there's a toy axe and shotgun. Pick up both of them. Now head into the master bedroom, which again, you'll need the snake key to enter. Once inside, head over to the storage room off to the right. 
once inside the storage room on the left side on a stool behind the door there is another treasure photo collect that photo and it'll show you like a cage and a mannequin with a hat on his head now that you've collected the treasure photo go back outside in the yard and in the corner by the house and the left of the flashing lights there are a bunch of bushes squeeze past them like so to get to a small puzzle area use the toy axe on the pedestal in the middle now you have to solve the shadow puzzle for this you can kind of see on the board where the axe should line up you will need to angle the axe just right to make a seven once done the deck the decorative box will open grab the stabilizer and use it to increase your max health now go back inside the main house in the main hall and go back to the statue you will need to replace a shotgun the statue is holding with the toy shotgun now you have both shotguns and you can switch between which one you prefer at any time the final treasure is in the testing area you will make your way around the area dodging trip wires you will end up in a large it's a pretty white room it's pretty white from a ton of dust everywhere you'll crouch below the first trip wire once you walk into the room and then head to the back right corner of the room there will be some cages stacked on top of one another if you look at the top of the cages you'll see the mannequin head with a hat on it it will allow you to interact with it to move the head out of the way and underneath the head is a repair kit once you are back at the supply crate you can use the repair kit on the broken handgun that you grabbed from the bed in the tra trailer earlier and that is all of the little miscellaneous things that you can do in resident evil 7 biohazard if this video helped you out please leave a like if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to the channel if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below and i'll see you next time bye